finally, a step-by-step -step tutorial for the Jawduino. This build was super difficult and hard. So I searched everywhere, asking questions like it's not working, can I get help? And you just wouldn't get any answers. So I figured I'd do this video for people like me who either has too many screws or not enough screws left over when building something. Now, this isn't my build, we know that, but I just couldn't find help online. So hopefully, this video will help somebody. Okay, here we go. First thing you wanna go is to buttonbanger.com. This is where you will find the Jawduino uh, PDF and the files. So you go over here to Jawduino, click on that. It'll have his video of him doing it. It'll show you some of the hookups that you do. And then you'll have the Jawduino PDF that you'll download. And this will show you all the items that you need to buy and show you, you know, where to get them at. So here's the PDF and it just shows you the items that you need. and then shows you like the wiring and where to wire. So then next you wanna to go to this folder here. You'll click it and you'll, it'll pop up to download uh, the file. So you go ahead and download it. Now this won't show it because on screen capture, it won't show any files on your computer. So you download it and it'll be a zip file. Now on here, it'll look like something like this over here. You'd have, uh, it'll show a Jawduino or a zip file. And that's what you download. Now you can unzip it to a Arduino library or unzip, you know, unzip it uh, wherever you, know, you want to. But it will look like uh, a file name It'll have a Jawduino folder, and then the Jawduino will have an Arduino little file. And you'll use this to open it up. So you click on your Arduino, and you just click open, hit that Jawduino INO file, and it will open up for you with all your codes and everything that you need. So it's gonna look different on yours because I updated some of the numbers based on my servo but the numbers you want to mess with to see how much it moves are the first ones over here you want these three numbers that match up to 180 however way you do it is up to you depending on your skull build and how much you want it to move the second you want to um, update um, tell you the truth, I don't know what the hell that supposed to do but I changed the numbers I reversed it um, I have, uh, you know, 62 and then 120 up there. I, I just mess with those numbers just to get the things. In. I really don't know what it is, but that's what I did for mine. So then you just upload it to your board and everything will be taken care okay, of. This is the hardware you'll need for your Jawduino. You'll need a Arduino board or something that's compatible with one. This one I like because it had two 5 volt and two ground plugins here you're gonna need this sound module and you're gonna need this audio plug-in adapter thing and then for the wires most of these kits come with these type this one's male to male but I also have some male to female 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 male to male whichever one that works best The sound module thing here, you're gonna need to solder some wires on. That's why I like using these male to male ones here. So if you look at it right here, you got 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, 0, 05. That's gonna be the audio um, when it hears it, the level. So on the back here, you're gonna solder it here on the two, I'm sorry here, the two, three, and four. Two, three, fourth. 
If you look at that Jaduino PDF, it'll show you exactly which ones to solder it to. So it should look something like that. So the next thing that you want to do is take this audio jack thing and then you'll do the same thing is I used the male one and you'd put it, you solder one to this middle. That's right there. That would be the ground. And then one over here, which would be the volt one. So it should look like, it should look like this when you're done. Got the ground over here in the middle and then the volt one on the side there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up both the audio jack and a sound module to the Arduino. So as you can see right here, this is how it'll look. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it all so I could do it step by step here. So first off, you have your sound module right here. And over here on the side, I have the female to male plugins here. So it goes, this first one will be the volt the second one will be the ground. The third one will be the ground for your audio jack. And the fourth one would be the volt. So these first two ones I'm going to plug in to the Arduino right here. The ground to the ground, which I'll have right here. And the 5 volt to the 5 volt. Let me do it as backwards here. So the ground of the ground and the five volt to the five volt. So now this will power up the board. Now on here, I'm going to plug in the ground wire to the ground on the audio jack, which you have right there. So I have a female to female on this. And then I'm going to do the volt, which is right here, to the volt over here. So once again, you got the volt, the ground, to the Arduino. And then you got the ground and the volt to your audio plug-in. So that takes care of the power and the audio. Now with these three, you got the two, three, four here. You're gonna put the two to the A0, the three to the A2, and the four to the A2. O3 and they're down here. So AO2 I'm sorry the, the second one right there will go to A0 your second one here the 3 will go to AO1 and then your fourth right here will go to AO3. So we got your sound module. It's hooked up to power it up to your ground and volt. It's hooked up to your audio jack. And now your two goes to A0. Your three here goes to A1. And your four here goes to A2. Now this will once the audio comes in these lights will go up depending on the volume it will take the signal to here 
so you know, for the board to know what to do to the servo. So now, according to this Jaduno thing, you want to, this will be the signal wire. We put it over here on the number two. And now this would be your signal wire to your servo. So now here's the part of the servo, signal to signal. Now, of course, you need to power up your servo. So what you'll do is you'll put your ground to ground. There's your ground. And you want to put this ground over here to the second ground plug-in. And then you're going to want to put your 5 volt into the other 5 volt that is here, which is right there. So now you have everything plugged in. You got the servo plugged in, powered up to the ground and the 5 volt and your signal for your servo to the number 2 here to tell the servo to move depending on how it moves here. So now what you'll do is you'll plug in your audio source. Right here. And then you need to plug in your board, I'm using a nine volt charger or a plug-in for this. So this will power up your servo or power up everything, the board and everything. Now look on here when the audio plays, it's going to light those up. So now you see how the lights go up based on the sound. Now if you have it too loud, it's going to be stuck. It, it won't move. That won't move it. So you got to mess with the volume so you can get the right type of movement. So now this is how I have on my, my servo. And then when you have no volume, it's gonna stop. Volume with it, it'll move. Thank <laughs> you. 